Hey everyone, it's Andrew from AppSpy.com, and I've got another hands-on preview for you to check out. This week it's for Tofu 2 by Hot Gen, and uh, it's the sequel to the puzzle platformer released over three months ago in late May. As you may remember at the time, Tofu's gameplay revolved around pinging, or rather stretching and releasing the main character to slingshot him across the level. There were also various surfaces to make him bounce or slide along, though the usual assortment of traps including spikes and lasers provided incentives to play cautiously. My first impressions of Tofu 2 were somewhat mixed. More to the point, it's hard to view the game as a direct sequel, when the only new feature to be explored is the addition of a charged super ping. Aiming at a character will eventually make him glow, giving him a speedy ping that can break through wooden barriers. So far in the early stages of the game, only the basic implications of such a mechanic have been explored. That is to say, stages that simply place wooden barriers in inconvenient locations, or simple timing-based puzzles that require the speedier ping. If the previous game is any indicator though, the super ping is bound to see its fair share of use, and possible abuse. I kind of hope there's more to the game than just a super ping though, as the only other major change over the original title is the slightly higher difficulty curve. Where the first eased you in, this title throws you into a series of tutorials and places you face first into a series of challenges that vary from elementary to iPhone breakingly annoying. Personally, I enjoy a bit of difficulty, so I'm not complaining too much, but it does ruin an otherwise smooth progression curve when you complete a couple levels with little to no fuss and then spend five minutes perfecting the timing on another. Other new features include a time attack mode, where you collect as much chi as possible within a time limit, with your high score going up on a game center leaderboard afterwards. Unfortunately, it feels much like an afterthought, especially with it tucked away in the extras menu, along with the dojo, a small practice area, options in the help menu. Interestingly, you can customize your character's appearance, with in-app purchases providing a fun selection of costumes, though there seems to be little reason to invest in these beyond further supporting the developer. At any rate, Tofu 2 will be hitting the App Store this week, and we'll have a review up as soon as possible. For now, if you enjoyed the original and were left wanting for more content, then this is probably going to make your week. But without too many changes to the formula, those who felt less enthused about the first title may want to wait until we give our final verdict. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.